in this video I'm going to go over a couple of missions I recorded about a year ago which for me sum up how the P-40 performs in Isle 2. Already by 1941 this plane was outclassed by almost everything it went up against. And I have to say this plane does feel much more sluggish than any other fighter in the game. In fact, this plane weighs 400 kilos more than a B-109G6. On top of this, the P-40 does not have a supercharger, which is something you can really feel the higher you get. All that being said, in this mission I'm going to be heading northwest to the enemy's tank column to see if any friendly bombers need my help. Despite all these defects the P-40 had by 1941, uh, one positive quality it did possess was that it was a resilient fighter. That feeling of ruggedness is something that the sim has captured pretty well. And to absolutely nobody's surprise, I've been bounced by a couple of BF-109s and have received engine damage. This gameplay is pretty old and takes place before the damage model update. For those of you who don't remember, before the update, if someone looked at your plane funny, you would receive engine damage. And that's what's happened to me here. I took this damage around the enemy's tank column, which is far from base, and as you'll see in a sec, my instruments have begun to wobble. In other fighters, I would not put much stock in me getting back home. And yet, despite all this, the P-40 still brings me home. Gonna take a moment to point out the U2, don't see them very much in multiplayer, very cool. Despite how much I love shit talking the P40, and I will maintain that I feel more comfortable dogfighting in a BF110, I have to admit it's pretty resilient. If there's anyone out there on the fence about buying the P40, I would still recommend it despite having said that it is outclassed by pretty much everything out there. Just because it's definitely a plane which has a lot of character, and as I've said, it's it feels very rugged, which is not something you get from every other plane in the game. I will add that I also have a bit of a soft spot for the P-40 because it's the first non-German or Soviet plane I owned on this sim. Believe it or not, there was a time when American planes were not too common on this sim. This next mission I flew is one which sums up how I get the majority of my kills in the P-40 in this game. Much more often than not in the P-40 I find myself getting kills by either intervening to help someone who's already in a dogfight or by catching an enemy completely off guard. Something I haven't yet touched upon in this video is that the P-40 makes a pretty good fighter bomber. It can carry one 500 kilo bomb and the 50 kills are perfect for taking out unarmored ground targets. Once again we are heading northwest, uh, this time to the repair factory is looking for trouble. This next bit I'm gonna leave relatively unedited.
And there you have it, a 2.5 kill sortie where all of my enemies were either distracted, outnumbered, or just plain didn't see me. It must also be said that the large ammunition capacity on the 50 gals are very forgiving to inaccurate shooters like myself. Although definitely not an in-depth review, I do hope that this video has given you a better idea of how the P40 feels in aisle 2. To people who are considering buying it, what I hope I have done is give a bit of a description about how it performs in-game, which the stats can't quite convey. It was a bit of a ramble, but I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this. Have a great day. Goodbye.